My name is Richard Kegge and I'm the designer for the Porgy and Vest project. About four and a half years ago, the head of the University of Kentucky Opera Program, Dr. Everett McCorvey, said he had wanted to do Porgy and Best, but he didn't want to do it in the huge traditional three-set version, so he asked me to start thinking about doing Porgy and Best in some way that was a little less bulky. About a month and a half later, we went to the Viz Center, which is part of the engineering school, where they had built a prototype of a rear projection screen that allowed a very short footprint. Um, normally in theater, rear projection requires 25 foot throw to get something big enough to put on the stage. And that means a lot of backstage space that most theaters don't have. Um, this was using multiple projectors to create a single image. And because of that, the footprint is only four and a half feet deep. It was really interesting. So we started thinking about how it might work for the Porgy project. We realized that as much as we would like to make it just simply projections because it would be a lot simpler to truck around, Porgy and Bess has a lot of people in it and it requires a certain amount of porches and places and staircases to go. So we had to come up with a combination between the projections and, and three-dimensional scenery. So the, the, the tiny scale we started out thinking about really didn't happen exactly. This is a pretty big set. Uh, but it is very adaptable and it works very well. What it did open up for us, though, was the possibilities of doing things like actually having hurricane footage on stage, having Kitawa be a real filmed sequence outdoors at a beach uh, with the leaves and trees moving. Um, it allowed us to do things like change times of day and night um, <clears throat> on the buildings without just lighting effects, but actually changing them. Uh, so there were a lot of things that were opened up. The Viz Center had made their prototype 16 feet by 25 feet, which is pretty good size, but it's still not big enough to fill a stage. So we have ended up with two screens for this production. One of them is in fact 16 by 25, but turned the other way. And the other one is, is 25 feet, 24 feet tall by 32 feet wide. Um, together they use 56 projectors um, and create two single images, one on each screen. Working with the technical folks at the Viz Center has really been very easy because they're very open and very ready to explain and ready to understand. I've been able to say, this is what I want to have happen. I haven't the clue how to make it work. Can it? And for the most part, they've solved most of those. One of the things that, that these gentlemen have given us is the opportunity to change the relationship of projectors and screen to the audience. Up to this point, if you use projected scenery, the screen has to be here, the projector has to be here, and the audience is either on that side of it or this side of it, and the relationship remains the same. What this allows us to do is to put the screen and the projector rack onto casters, and we can change the orientation of the projected image to the audience up and down stage, angles, so on and so forth, and that's the ingredient that's always been missing. It also has things that we haven't even discovered yet. We keep, we keep realizing that, that the screens can be any size. Uh, we realize the scene, screens can be any configuration. There are a lot of things around here, uh, a lot of methods and a lot of things that we have, we're just barely exploring. Um, this is project one. Uh, we're hoping to do many more. The interesting thing about the project is we never let the technology take, o take off with the story. We've tried to keep the technology, the story, and the three-dimensional scenery all in check with each other so that they support each other and so that they're part of it. And I think that's how this technology works the very best. Um, I think you have to be careful. I think you have to remember you are still telling a story. It's not about the technology, it's about the story. It's about the music, it's about the opera.